and girls and boys. Welcome to the young people who are watching and the old people who are watching. Those who listen every week and those who are listening for the first time. And children, you know very well that Christmas is just around the corner. And it's such a happy and exciting time of the year. I don't know what happens in your home, but in our home, the tree goes up and the Christmas baking starts. And then we hear the boys whispering, oh, can we get Papa for Christmas? And everyone's making their little plans about how we can surprise someone in the family. It really is a happy time. The children, we must never forget that very, very first Christmas. Do you know when Zachariah prophesied about Jesus coming? He said, Jesus is coming to those living in darkness. Those living in the shadow of death. And Jesus is coming to guide our feet into the path of peace. Do you know, 700 years before Jesus' birth, the same was prophesied by Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah, he also said, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. And children, I want us to look today at the darkness which Jesus came to disperse. It's not nice when it gets dark. Recently, we had such a big storm here at Kwasizabantu and the lights went out. And I was in the kitchen and I couldn't see what I was doing anymore. Maybe you've also experienced that you're doing your homework or you're working or you're playing in your bedroom and the lights go out. We can't do anything when we haven't got light. When it's all dark around us, there's nothing we can do. Children, do you remember when the angel came to Mary? And the angel visited her and he said to Mary, he said, Greetings, Mary. You are highly favored of the Lord. That's where we hear the beginning of the Christmas story. And the angel said to Mary, You are going to have a child. And you are going to call that ba the child, the baby, Jesus. And you know, after that, an, an angel went to visit Joseph. And you know, the, the angel came to Joseph and he said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Take Mary as your wife. 
Because she's going to give birth to a boy and you're going to name him Jesus. And the angel said to Joseph, you're going to name him Jesus because he's going to save people from their sin. Do you see, children, God was making a plan for the darkness. Already a long time ago, Jesus or God saw the problem. He saw the darkness on earth and he had pity on us. And so he made a plan to send Jesus who was born at Christmas time. And then next in the story, we hear that Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem. They had to be registered there. And you know, while they were there, it was time for the baby to be born. And we know so well how... The time was there for Mary to give birth, but there was nowhere for them to sleep. Imagine that busy town of Bethlehem. People here, people there, shopping and walking and going back and forth. Everyone was busy doing their thing and it was the time for Jesus to be born. And they had nowhere to stay. But you know, it's just like that today. People are busy, they go to work, they come home, they go to school, they come home and then they bake and then they go shopping and then they go driving and what? Whatever it is that we do. And it's just Jesus is looking for a place, a quiet place. He's looking for a room because he wants to be born in our hearts. But so often people are busy with so many other things. But back to Mary and Joseph, we know finally they found a place in a manger. So Mary and Joseph that stable amongst the animals, amongst the hay, maybe cold, maybe dirty. It may have even been a dark place. It was definitely simple and humble and there Jesus was born. Isn't it wonderful, children, no matter where you are, if you're rich or if you're poor, Jesus wants to come to you and to be born in your life. And then do you know what happened? Do you know who visited the baby Jesus first? Well, little bit out on the fields, there were shepherds looking after their sheep. And again, an angel appeared to them. And the angel said to the shepherds, Behold, I bring you good news. Do not be afraid. Today is born to you in the city of David a Savior. He is Christ the Lord. 
And just after that, a host of heavenly angels. That means many, many, many angels came. Imagine them filling the sky and they sang glory to God in the highest. Isn't it wonderful how God chose these angels to share the special message with the shepherds? And the shepherds didn't waste any time. They hurried off to see Jesus. I wonder if you children will run to Jesus. When you hear that the Lord Jesus is working somewhere or when you know that his word is being shared, do you hurry to see and to hear his word? And then later we, he, we read about the wise men who followed a star in the sky to find this baby. They came from far away and they followed that light all the way. When they got to Jerusalem, they asked King Herod, where is this king who has been born? Now, King Herod didn't really want a new king to be born because he was the king. So King Herod was making his own plans of how he could get rid of that baby King Jesus. But the wise men didn't listen to King Herod. They just went, followed the star until they found Jesus. Children, it was interesting to me that the angels came to Mary, to Joseph and the shepherds. And Maria, Angels are light. They are the light of God. And the wise men, they were guided by a light as well. It was a star. God sent his son Jesus and he revealed it through the light. King Herod didn't want the light. When Joseph and Mary were looking for somewhere to stay, the innkeeper, he didn't want the light. Very few people welcome the light of God. But children, if you let Jesus be born in your heart, you are letting the light of God shine in your heart. And when light comes in our heart, what happens to the darkness? It disappears. And that's exactly what the prophet said about Jesus. He's a light coming to shine in our darkness. To dispel, to get rid of the darkness. And to guide our feet on the path of peace. Do you know the best and most precious Christmas gift that you can receive is the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart. He wants to be born in your heart. 
children, if you're in Virginia or in Cape Town or in Germany, no matter where you are. If you're living in a hut or if you're living in a tent or if you're living in a palace. The Lord Jesus is a light that wants to be born in your life. So that your sadness and darkness will be gone. That's my Christmas wish for you. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, thank you that you were the best and perfect Christmas gift. You have come to get rid of the darkness in our life. We pray that many children will welcome you into their hearts this Christmas. Amen. Amen. Thank you.